Today I'm going to show you how to embed Scratch and Reveal into any Seesaw activity. Before we get started, I'll talk about why we would put Scratch and Reveal into activities. This is an amazing engagement strategy that hooks your students and keeps them into Seesaw while maximizing the potential that the canvas actually holds. The first example I'm going to show you is how to cover up some shapes so that students discover what's underneath it before they actually find it. What I'm going to do is go to the marker and then change the color so that it matches this background light, light brown, like right about here. It's okay if it's not perfect, we want to get really close. Next thing I'm going to do is go up to the highest pen size so that I can quickly cover up these shapes just like this. I'm just going to go around in a square just like that and then cover up the middle. The next thing I'm going to do is prompt students by putting a tool icon right here. Now I found one that looks a lot like the seesaw eraser down here. I can either go to the camera, upload this image, or if I have it somewhere close, I can just click drag and drop it right in. I'm going to shrink it down so it's about the same size as the text and we'll leave it right here. So now students know in order to find these triangles, I have to erase this content to be able to discover what's underneath this. It's almost like digging through a sandbox to be able to find our hidden triangles. The next example I'm going to show you is how to give students some information or even a hint from you as the teacher and be able to hide that in a scratch and reveal format. The first thing I'm going to do is add a text box and write the word hint. I want to make sure that students know visually that there's going to be something hidden underneath here and that they are going to have to scratch it away to be able to discover it. I'm going to change the style by going to the three dots, style, and then choose the far left option which allows it to be clear all the way around. Just like on the last example, I'm going to add in my eraser icon so that students know that they have to use this eraser to actually reveal the hint that I'm going to hide. So everything is prepped for me now to add my content. What I'm going to do is add another text box and provide students their hint. So now that I have my hint written, I'm just going to resize this a little bit and make sure that it is formatted somewhere where students can quickly find it and then lock everything in place. So now that everything is locked, I'm just gonna cover it up and I'm going to use the marker and do it just like I did on our last example. Choose the marker, but now I'm gonna go down to white since that's what our shape is right here, crank it all the way up and then just cover up my text just like this. Now students know that they can use the eraser to erase a hint from their teacher right inside of this canvas. The final example I'm going to show you is how to add a reminder for students. Just like with our hint, we're going to go to the T and we're going to type in the word reminder. I'm going to change the style to be the far left with all the transparent backgrounds and we're going to shrink it down and put it way down at the bottom corner. I'm going to add in my eraser icon just to make sure that students know exactly how to find their reminder and then we'll lock these two in place. Now I'm going to add in my words for my reminder. Let's move this down and resize it so it fits inside of our box, just like this. We'll lock it in place. The last thing I'll do is go to the marker and choose white again, since that is the same background we have, and I'll turn it to the highest setting and just cover up our words just like this. Students now can use the eraser to reveal their reminder to allow them to be more successful with their work. Thanks for joining me and seeing how to embed a scratch off into an existing activity. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to go to web.seesaw.me lessons to see what we're working on next.